My role model was a lawyer, my auntie. She was the first Malay woman chief justice, the first Malay woman lawyer in the country. And I wanted to be first at something. And I thought by that time, it all ran out, there's nothing I could do. But then I got good in science. And in this country, if you're good in science, you get pushed into the science stream. So I wanted law and it's the other way and it's not something good for you. So I went for medicine, I did medicine and I realized that that had a link with people. So I went and joined the university and that got me in an opportunity where I could be part of the beginning of something new. I always like to like start something new and see where it goes from there. So that was how I got into uh, uh, School of Medical Sciences. I went into physiology and then in, when you get into physiology, they wanted you to have a postgraduate degree. Um, it's either going into the clinical or the basic sciences. So I went basic sciences and I had to go into a laboratory and it's a new challenge. So I thought, why not? You know, it's something new, but it still links up with something that I'm familiar with. And that's why I got into physiology and how I ended up in Ian Chubb's laboratory at Flinders. Ian Chubb's lab. <laughs> I, I, I hope I know Ian's going to see this, <laughs> but it was scary to meet Ian. It was scary, you know, um, uh, because I had no idea what I was walking into. I know it was going to be laboratory work. I had no idea how to think like a scientist, and he just told me to just go in, do what you have to do. But uh, you know, in retrospect, I think that was where I learned the most. You know, I learned how to uh, live in another culture. I learned uh, what my strengths were, what my weaknesses were, and uh, I learned um, how to think like a scientist. And I think that was the most important thing. As a researcher in uh, University of Science Malaysia, um, I was given uh, one of the six, uh, they call it a cluster grant, a, a grant that will help start a new cluster. From that, um, we already started this niche area on neurocognitive sciences. So it is a, an, a, a collaborate collaboration between the bio, biological sciences and the uh, uh, computer sciences as well. Uh, but as I said, we wanted to give back. How do we in a laboratory go back to the community? So by extension, the next part was that uh, we work in schools. Uh, we work with children. Uh, what we did in schools, um, and this was in Indonesia as well as in Malaysia, is to look at how children think, why they think the way they do, and uh, we have a link with the Ministry of Education to see how these things can be incorporated into the, into the curriculum. Thank you.